Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits and welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I have a sneak peek into a Patreon lesson for you. So the first part of this lesson is a collage that I created in a long in-depth video in Patreon and then I'm going to bring you in at the end of the lesson where I'm going to add some design and bling and cherry on top type of elements with deco foil and triple thick glaze to this fabulous tropical fish collage. So if you've got a few minutes, check it out with me. Come see how I can make and take this collage up to the next level with some bling on top. So now that I have created this fish collage, I have sketched and underpainted and co applied collage to this fish. He looks fantastic. This is all my gel prints that I do this with. Now I'm going to add the fish from my rice paper. These fish rice papers that I designed for joggles have fish that I created in them and lots of different designs and lots of different fish. So I've decided to take this one out and add him to the background of my collaged fish. So I'm going to then put down some gloss gel medium in kind of a generous area where the fish is gonna go. And then I'm going to put the fish, and this is 30 GSM rice paper. It's highly absorbent and highly thin. So because of its absorbency and because it's so thin, it's really gonna glue down beautifully. So we're just gonna put this at this angle. We wanna make sure that now we apply glue over the, there's a little glue chunk, glue over the top, pressing down with the brush. That is the, going to keep it down flat, that application of glue over the top, brushing down flat and pressing all the air bubbles out with this rigid bristle brush, the Princeton Catalyst brush. And there, we got that down really nice and flat. And we're gonna clean off the excess glue. And then after that dries, I think we're going to add some deco foil with a little bit of tacky when dry gel through a stencil. So I'm going to create some raised up bubbles with a product that I can use to apply this foil and have the bubbles from the fish be dimensional. Okay, so now that I've got my rice paper fish adhered and it's dry and my collage is done, I'm going to use this Tacky When Dry Gel Medium. It is thick and it's going to hold its raised up shape and then the deco foil will adhere to it. Uh, the deco foil is fantastic plastic or mylar based metallic and it comes in all different kinds of colors, black, blue. It's got a uh, watery sort of gradient blue colors like that. Um, some uh, rainbow gradient colors like this. It's tons of fun. And I have done videos with it before in different ways than today. So the color that I'm using today is, um, I think it's called champagne. Let's see if it says anywhere. Yeah, champagne. And um, that's going to adhere to the tacky when dry gel medium. So the bubbles that I'm going to create, I'm going to use one of my brand new Dorothy series masks and stencils. So this is a bubbly stencil. And I'm going to use just a, a trimmed piece of credit card to spread the medium through the stencil. All right. So I'm uh, opening the medium, you can see that it's a thick gel, unlike um, traditional um, gold leaf adhesive, which is a liquid, this is a nice thick gel, and we're going to apply it through the stencil to create bubbles sort of in this area above the fish. And whatever that gets on there that I don't want, I'm going to kind of wipe out. Um, but for now, I'm just going to spread it pretty liberally through here. You could use a palette knife as well. I'm just using a piece of a credit card and I'm going to let it go 
right up off the top. Maybe even out to the side. And then I'm just going to scrape it, the excess off, return it to the container. And you want to clean your stencil immediately after this because this is nice sticky stuff. So let's make sure we get that right off the edge like we want it. There's another dot there. And all the way down to his mouth, there's a couple more dots. Okay. So I've got some great three-dimensional dots. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Very cool. Okay, so I'm scraping the excess into the bowl, the cup. I've got the paper towel and I'm gonna take some of these off just so that they don't all go right to the edge. So I'm gonna scrape out the partial ones. So the ones that didn't get fully round, take those off and take a few off from the edge so that they don't look quite so uniform. Okay, um, then smaller you cut your credit card piece. You could go in and take out individual ones in the middle if you wanted to tweak the, the bubble formation. And we could even add some more uh, because I imagine that's gonna be beautiful with the champagne. There could be a few bubbles down below. So let's do that. Let's put this down here and just apply a couple more sort of down at the bottom. And I'm not sure how long this is gonna take to set up. Um, it's, I'm in a window with a lot of sun right here and it's pretty warm, um, so it may not take that long. And again, you can return all the excess to the container and wiping off what you don't need on your paper towel and then coming in here and removing ones that you maybe don't want. Okay. So now I've got some great bubbles and I'm gonna go wash my stencil and I'm gonna wipe the edge of this container. And there really are no directions on this. So it's kind of you figuring it out on your own or you and me together. So I'm just gonna let that dry. It needs to set up obviously so that it's not smudgy, but we also want it to be tacky. I know with my experience from the proprietary glue for the metallic leaf that it can dry past the point of tacky where it's not sticky anymore. So we're just gonna have to come back and test this with the finger and see um, once it starts setting up and getting solid when it feels like it's tacky, but I think that's gonna take a few minutes. So I think it's gonna be beautiful with this sheet of champagne deco foil. I picked the champagne cause it's a slight, it's a gold, but it's not as yellow. And there are one, two, three, four sheets in each tube. And so this, I think this color is gonna look really nice with the background, but like I said, the deco foil comes in all different colors. So you could certainly make blue bubbles if you wanted to, or you could certainly use this, um, this one is called glass slipper, and it's got sort of a watercolory pattern of blue and uh, champagne. So that could be interesting too, but I think I'm gonna stick with the champagne, but I certainly, if I had done blue water, I would make blue bubbles but I think I'm going to stick with the champagne to try to stay with the neutral background color and let the fish be the pattern but you can see how you can immediately incorporate a second fish with that rice paper and it gives you a little play on textures we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and put the deco foil bubbles Okay, so our last step is to apply the deco foil the adhesive has dried clear you can see that it's clear and shiny, but tacky. So you put the deco foil into the dots and you just rub, I'm rubbing with my fingers. You could um, use a wooden spoon, uh, a metal spoon. I'm just rubbing with the fronts of my fingernails to make sure that I get contact with all of the bubbles and they're raised up. So they're gonna have a little bit of dimension 
And look at that. So I'm, again, I'm gonna give a peek and then apply more pressure where I think it needs it. And we've got this wonderful pattern from the Dots stencil that create these great metallic dimensional bubbles on the fish collage. So I am just loving that dimensional. And that is what's great about the tacky when dry gel medium, because you can push it through any kind of a pattern of a stencil and you can get it to stay in that slightly raised pattern. And isn't that just great? Beautiful. Um, remember that the deco foil comes in lots of different colors. Uh, what else can I say? I think this is a fun, fabulous project. Oh, so I had another thought. I had another thought. I could use this Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On Glaze to make my collaged fish shiny, shiny, shiny like the bubble dots. So this only requires one coat. It's a really thick, clear coat, and you just brush it on, and it just makes everything super glossy. So I'm just going to squeeze it right onto the fish. You could also put it in a separate container, but I'm just going to squeeze it right onto the fish, and I'm going to brush it. And you can see, I think, let me zoom in on this for you. So I think you can see that it goes on real thick and it's going to be like almost like a resin finish over this. And it only requires one coat. So I'm using an angled Princeton Velvet Touch shader brush. You can see the angle is going to help me get um, into the corners of the tail and the fins. So I'm just picking it up from the middle where I squeezed it on and then bringing it out uh, over the whole fish. And this angled brush is gonna help me get the fin points real nice. And then the same way with like a varnish application, I think I need a little bit more. Oh, it's, there's a bit in the middle here. So the same way you do with varnish, you're gonna hold this to the light to see if you missed any spots and you can tell by the shininess of it. So. We're gonna hold it up like this. Oh, here, we'll zoom out now. Okay, so we're gonna hold it up like this and see the shine, and we're gonna see if we if we feel like we missed any spots when we hold it to the light, and I think that looks really good. I maybe could get a little bit more on this outer edge, and then that's going to really give that an interesting and unique shiny effect and it'll just be this fish and the bubbles so the background secondary fish you could put it on that one too but i'm thinking i just might want to make the collage fish real shiny so the second guy can go into the background a little bit and if you really wanted to subdue him you could brush a little bit of titan buff over the top of him um we could have run some bubbles over him uh, to suggest that he's in the background. There's different ways you could play with him if you wanted to tone him back, push him back, but I kind of really like him like this. So that is my, whoops, my last effect. And it's super easy because you only need one layer of this triple thick product to make that um, fish really glossy. And he's gonna dry just as glossy as he is now wet. It's a really fun product, especially for highlighting um, one part uh, of a painting because it's so thick it stays right in place where you put it. Just like the tacky when dry gel stays in place when you smudge it through a stencil, the thickness of this means that it doesn't run and flow everywhere. It literally will stay right in the tip of the fin where we put it uh, because it's so thick. So anyway, I just thought I would add the finishing touches with the Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On Glossy Glaze. Thank you for being here with me this week. Thank you for considering supporting me on Patreon. That link will come at the end. It's a month-to-month -month subscription. You can come and go at any time and you have immediate access to all previously archived material going all the way back to May of 2020. So it'll keep you busy for quite a while and it is a really great deal at $25 a month for what amounts to many online workshops worth of content. And it will always be right there where you can find it and easily access it. So thanks again for being here with me this week. I look forward to seeing you back here next week.